the, the other thing I think as well though is it's not just a case of that it's also a case and I mean I've been guilty of this in the past people will people will just buy the game and invest in the game because it's that name they play that yeah. game and they know that name like Call of Duty what? Call I'll, of Duty I'll, franchise first thing I'll just say Call of Duty you know Regardless of whether it's a reskinned hash of a game that they released five years ago, people will buy it because it's Call of Duty and it's the latest Call of Duty. You know, I, I, I'll I openly, hand on heart, say that I, you know, I, I used to be guilty of it myself. You know, I, I wouldn't even really look at the game. I just said, "All right, new Call of Duty's out. Let's go buy it." Yeah. Um, Two thousands, but I'd say by. Before 2010, uh, I, I saw enough of it, especially with Call of Duty, because I bought every new Call of Duty. Because uh, we, we played it here on, on my land, my office. Yeah. Room. And so, yeah, I would have uh, uh, backup copies. Of course. Go keep them backups. Yeah, for other computers, just in case. My. my a purchase copy went bad. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, did the same thing. I think, can't remember how many I bought when it first came out. Uh, you know, each year. But uh, I think the last one I bought was one of the one of the modern warfares. I think. But, yeah. I mean, I I used to buy, I used to I I was more interested in the the ones that Treyarch made because I was I was a big a big zombies player and I I enjoyed the zombies game mode. Um, but I didn't buy one after I think it was like Black Ops Three because they they started like stripping out some of the campaign stuff and for the multiplayer and for me i i was never really interested in the multiplayer i was more uh, like zombies and campaign guys so if they're going to take out half the game it was kind of like well I'm, i don't really want to buy it because it's not going to benefit me sort of thing um and then i did actually at one point it was weird because i i didn't buy the game and then I actually had an email one day from Activision and they just out of the blue was like, oh, we, we, we see you're a, a, a valued um, person who plays our games, blah, 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 blah. I'm oh, sorry, yada, yada, yada. Um, here's, um, here's a free copy of the latest Call of Duty. So that was kind of like the last one that I played. I think it was like probably about five years ago. But even still after that, I just haven't bothered. Because I, I genuinely find I prefer playing, you know, games like this, smaller games from indie developers, because they can't afford to do what the um, AAA companies do by s sending out a load of tripe and then patching it over and over again. Because a small indie development studio, they have to get it right first time, or else that's their reputation gone. Yeah, and they just don't have the capital. Exactly. Exactly. They have to but get it they, right they, first they, time. They, they, they put in their, they put in the hours, which yeah. is not what the others do. So they make a game and they spend years on it a lot of times and they make it right. But yeah, then you got your trashy indie developers that uh, aren't like a one or two person team. They're you know, they actually have a, you know, a dozen or so people. I, I don't, I don't call that indie in my book. But yeah, it's like the bigger they get, the the quality goes down in certain aspects. Yeah, but it's, it's not just that, though, is it? It's like, you know, Act Activision, not, well, not Activision, um, Microsoft and Sony are, are quite um, guilty of this. They're just like kind of snapping up all these devel little development studios. And yeah. you know that just like when they start like snapping up these development studios, you know, it's, it's all going to go downhill. Um, well, I mean, unless you're, unless you're Steam, unless you're Valve. Well, yeah. So, so far that I'm aware, I'm sure somebody 
the internet after all. Somebody can correct me. Uh, and that'd be fine. But uh, they they bought. Do, do you need some they, graphics cards or some sound cards? Just <laughs> yeah, some hard totally. drives, maybe. Send send all of them to me. Can't get enough. But they uh, like uh, like Portal. Uh, they bought out. You know the idea uh, from those co the college kids. Uh, yeah, who, 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 you know, he originally put out the the original game, but then they hired them on, which I think is cool, and because they could have just bought them out and said, "No, nah, uh, y'all go wherever." They they paid them, and I'm, and I'm sure they paid them for their. Yeah, input work, whatever they did there. But uh, yeah, I mean, without just some college, without college, these these young college kids, uh, and doing a project uh, for the class, we wouldn't have portal. No, no. You know, it's 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 very rare that like. It seems like the bigger bigger they get, the 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 more they're just looking for somebody else's ideas, and then and then they can use they got the money to spend on the talent. Uh, I mean, especially having uh, uh, the the voices for Wheatley and uh, Glados. I mean, all of them actually. Uh, that won't cheat for them. Guarantee well, no. they uh, they got they got paid handsomely for uh, their voice acting. But uh, still, and and then again, that's why Portal Two is still number one. the highest rated game on Steam. So there's another game that's newer that was closing in on them. But so far, nobody is. No game is rated as high as Portal Two. It'd be. I'd, I'd be quite interesting if, like, um, Valve, like, didn't have Steam as to like which direction they would have kind of taken. I mean, without Steam, uh, just just off the cuff, I think uh, they they. They would have continued to be a, a game producing company, and we would have Portal Three, Half Life Three, Team Fortress Three, uh, yeah, all the every single one of the games they put out that only went to a two, all of them went to a two. That I can recall. No, they would have had threes. The they would have been okay on the third one, but I feel like. They would have just gone into the EA kind of way of just trying to throw out games and and use what they already had, like Call of Duty, just skin it. And throw, essentially, what the workshop is for Portal for, uh, Portal Two, uh, and 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 let the user base make up the new content, so they don't have to do any of the work. Yeah, but I mean that that's that that's a better way to approach it though, because rather than building a game with DLC in mind, they built a game, recognized that it was a popular game and that people were invested in it, and then offered up the DLC, but on top of that they didn't charge for it. And yeah. that's the way DLC should be. There's too many game companies out there who are like, okay, we're going to make a game and we're going to sh fill it with microtransactions and fill it with DLC, regardless of any like research as to whether or not people who actually want it or people enjoy the game or blah 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 blah. You know, they, they could have like a massive long book list, but the DLC and microtransaction ethos takes precedent. Yeah. Um, you know, so. I, I kind of do quite like the way 
Valve, Valve did it with Portal um, as well. Like it's exactly the same way that um, Matt Makes Games did it with Celeste as well. It was like, okay, we built the game. Yes, it's very popular. Let's, you know, not only provide tools so that people can make their own mods and their own maps and things, but we'll also, you know, offer up some free DLC. Yeah, that's that's kind of you know, uh, exactly my point with with Valve. They they didn't put out a Half Life Three or Portal Three or any or any of the you know the, and of course the memes about you know Valve can't count to three and well no I'm glad they didn't do that. There are reasons why. There are people that left, uh, people that were fired. There's, there's different reasons for different games not going anywhere, and they don't want to put out a game. I mean, their reputation with all their games is very high. Like, yeah. I mean, the, like the the top in the top ten on Steam. I mean, I think uh, it's, it's quite a few of their games. Portal Two being the top one. Uh, and I think Counter Strike and Team Fortress uh, are, are Dota, Dota Two. Uh, yeah, they, I mean they absolutely kill it. So I think they may whoever gave or actually whoever he's paying to say which should or shouldn't be done. Uh, has earned their money. It's, uh, they, yeah, uh, they would ruin their reputation put out, and they everybody would say, "Up, oh, they turned into EA." But, uh... So, what do you think of the game so far? It's a nice little slow burner, definitely. Um not really giving too much away so far about like what's going on or what's happened which is yep. interesting as well uh, it, it'll come i mean this is like a you got this little guy here this is a turning point okay i like how the cat's like are you mean or not ha Okay, no, 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 you're okay, you're okay. Follow me. Achievement unlocked. Not alone. Unlock the door. I don't know that much. Let me get that for you. So where did you put the keys exactly? <laughs> Up your eyes and to the left. Yeah, Mika. Uh... I remember all that stuff. Trust me. Uh, I think you're probably still a kid when I was uh, using my first computer. <laughs> okay. You, you. I bet. I bet you were a toddler. Mika's the same age as me. Yeah, y'all were toddlers when when I was using my first computer. Um, Cause I mean, I'm, you're what, 30, 36, 37. Seven. Yeah. So. I, I think I, I think I killed myself. I just collapsed on the floor. <laughs> nah. I feel like this backpack is too heavy for the cat. I think that's the idea here. Maybe. You, you don't give yourself much credit, jeez. 
Like, like, like is it uncomfortable? Stadium. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I was going to say, I forgot it. Uh, he said that. Oh, look, we got, we got an inventory. Interesting. That was good. I won't say great because none of the big companies are great. Uh, yeah, Valve has their issues, like all big corporations. But yeah, there's, as far as I'm aware of, I mean, they, I like the way they go about business and the way their customer service is that I've experienced firsthand. So uh, I can't complain. All right, so I'm guessing that we can find we, we need to find locations for this memory thing that's the thing The thing is, though, as, as much like it's like it's one of the biggest memes in history, like with like the whole Valve doesn't um, know how to count to three sort of thing. Yeah. Um, in all fairness, I, it hasn't done them any harm at all because it's kind of like left the games up to like community um, interpretation in a way. And you know, you know, well, well, some, to... some of the things have been explained there too. Uh, like with like with Portal Two, there's nobody working at Valve so anymore funny. that was involved with the the last the the main dude that was uh, running the whole Portal series left, and he actually uh, said why and this thing like months ago on Reddit and stuff came up. Uh, can I, can I just ask a question? Can I just ask a question a minute? Yeah. What sort of um, weird ass clock is this? <laughs> Why does it go to 16? It's a British clock. Three, seven, four, eight. Continue anyway. Wow, how did you figure that out? Figure that out, yeah. That, that, I spent an hour on that puzzle. Are you for sure? Are you for real? <laughs> yep, totally. Hmm. Look at this place. That elevator in distance is important, I think. I know we need to go up. Yeah, crazy. That's... Uh... Yay, is still not like. Has it been, has it been for a long on the wall. time? Steam needs to fix. The, Steam, the valve needs to fix Steam. Uh, I'm so sick of getting like a. Uh, a text message or you know chat message and, and then I have the uh, green envelope uh, notification and it won't turn off even if I click on the message respond to it or anything it just stays there Okay, if you stop talking to me, maybe I can uh, get to the big elevator. Is there any way to zoom in? I think I could stay here a little longer than expected. Bob. 
I'm having a great vacation here in Montpellier. Lots of sun and great people. This from Bob Ross. But yeah, I mean, I think if um, if Valve had have, like made more games in the franchises, I don't think it would have encouraged as many people and as many like mod groups to um, you know make games such as like um, Portal Stories Mel and all these other sort of great mods that we have. Um, yeah, I mean, it, well, I mean, look at well, Hammer. That's you know that was no big deal for them. I mean, they didn't have to release it, but uh, that's what they used to make the game. Yeah. So they're like, okay, here you go, guys. But yeah, EA wouldn't do that because they they're like, uh, now we're losing money. And uh, there's only been one mod that you can correct me. Uh, and, I can think of there's only been one mod that was sold for Portal 2. Uh, and I believe that was Aperture Tag. Yeah. Yeah. And every other one was 100% free. And I don't even know, like Aperture Tag. It, I, I wonder if they actually made any money. Yeah, I mean, if you put in like how many hours did they put into it? I mean, look at, look at like a uh, portal stories mail. Look at what like Nintendo and uh, Aaron and all of them are doing with the uh, uh, destroyed aperture desolation as well. I mean, yeah, it's insane. I mean, the amount of hours. I mean, people people could play it and go, well, blah blah blah. You're not paying for it. They did this on their own time. Uh, does that mean dead? <laughs> I guess so. That means dead. Like when you turn to press to retry. Yeah. <laughs> you made a wrong wrong turn at Albuquerque. All right. So. It's a safe zone. Not very safe, to be fair. Well, it's plenty safe. You're safe until you put yourself in harm's way. That'll always be the case. You can't get hurt unless you put yourself in a, a situation that can get you hurt. <laughs> Okay. It's just a way back by the looks of it. Doesn't look like there's a way to take the high road. Unless we can... Yeah, you wanna... Uh, this map is not huge, but until you get to know it, it... I guess like anything, even in real life, you take, once you get to know it, it's, you know where you're going. But, uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of routes you can take. Even though it's kind of like here, you, you can only jump here or here or here, but... Where else but can I go then? To progress, you you got to do the obvious. <laughs> Meow. They scatter when you do that. <laughs> okay. You're fucked. 
What you talking about, Foley? Nope, I'm still correct. What you talking about, fool? That. Wait for the death. Yeah. Yeah, they're a hundred percent head crabs. actually go here uh make us not that i'm aware of but if you contact one of the one of the guys oh uh, okay they could they could tell you but i don't think they would take anything the slums That day was a little skittish. friendly I agree 100 percent that got your tongue <laughs> Isaac we're not familiar with your kind you're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone don't think I'm going to eat anyone. I guess I've never seen any like living anim animal or anything living in the last X, Y, or Z, so they're all a bit spooked. I love the way they're all like wearing clothes though, like as if they were humans. You are very observant. <laughs> now, what do you like, need? Like, like, like seriously, you're, you're so spot on you don't even know. A picture of the outside, ridiculous. Elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. Well, they're all gone now, except Momo. He tried to talk to me if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high in that building with the orange neon sign. Alrighty then. And host to tomorrow from the beginning with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here.
We're just trying to get back to the outside, I believe, at this point, Mika, if I'm honest. It was a strike we thought you was you were a zerk. Ooh, very pretty. I thought you'd take the elevator. I've never seen that thing work. And I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. It's a beautiful dream. What a shame it's just a dream. This guy looks a bit grumpy. I don't know if we should talk to him. Why go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like it. Did you show it to him? No, because I've not been seeing Momo yet. Um, uh. Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. Only our answers can distinguish these colours. It's said they once dominated the world. Interesting. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. So seems like the humans have just abandoned this place which is quite interesting the marketplace i'm the merchant of the market you give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This nation relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. Alright. I'm going to go find some energy drink cans. Okay. Seems like it's the currency around here. Uh, you haven't gotten any. Energy drink cans yet? Uh, I haven't seen any. Oh, huh, okay. Apparently, I was too nosy of a cat. And by the time I got here, uh, I was able to buy one of the things. Okay. So the, uh, the baddies are obviously called the Zerks. Yeah, I'll say, Mika, to your last question. So what do you thought? But, uh, yeah, uh, pretty much what you said at the end. Uh, you, you're, you're getting answers later on in the game. Like, the, the story progresses and you find out more and more. The... Uh, but so far, he's knocked spot on, uh, pretty much. The energy can machine is not working. Of course it's not. Chroma green, Nico plants grow glow in the dark. Don't need the sun to enjoy. Oh, well, yeah. That'll get explained to you. All the questions everybody's asking and maybe ones that are in your head they actually cover they answer them it's the streets and the next day the zerks are consumed completely 
It's crazy, right? They can't, they can eat everything. All the weird stuff happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village, it's too dangerous. Besides, the garden is the only one who can open this door. Oh, you like that. Okay, I guess, uh... I suppose it's quite, uh... Alien to them, though, to be fair. They've never seen any, like, uh animal or beast in a being in quite a long time. No, nope, they're all robots. Yeah, earlier on he said something about that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, humans develop stuff which, like that, about the plants, needing no sunlight. That was like a, a clue in on that, yeah, humans used to be here they created the place but yeah where have the humans gone that's the question yeah uh, yeah uh, there are unanswered questions but they will be answered unless you have uh something outside of the realm of this game questions then you would have to talk to the devs about that but yeah, the story and when Ooh, you my music as, sheets, interesting. As long as you talk to everybody, you you know yeah. everything. You know. Just gonna take that time. Yeah, I, I kind of always hated having to talk to people on certain games, but uh. Uh, this one, you know, wasn't too much. It's like, you get, a, you get a few here and there. Yeah. What are you thinking about the pool table on the boss? I'm kind of thinking there must be an achievement for that. I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Is this the one you was talking about, though? Nope. But, yeah, uh... I knocked all the balls in. And, uh, thought that would be an achievement. But yeah, this, this is the one. There's another one you walk right by, like within one inch of getting it. But it, it was outside. How is there like, I, I, yeah, it's a bit weird. Like, how is there no like achievement for like doing this? Yeah. The, this is like, the sort of thing that, you know, you just expect like if, if it's in the game and you can do it, it'd be worth yeah, an achievement. Like put, put all the balls in pockets. Achievement. But no. Yeah, it's retarded. Uh, I guess it also helps if you don't uh, knock them on the floor. Uh, well, no. That where it comes out, it actually goes down and comes out. At, and then they, when it comes out, they they knock each other out. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's, an, uh, it's, it's an American pool table. Jeez. It says it all. <laughs> uh, be an American? I know, because like, but I, I'm we, not just saying that. A, we have been a pool. Um, yeah, if that's like a standard a American pool table, if, that would do that. But if that's like a standard American pool table, like a British one, is like you have have something on the side, and it's um, they all like sit on the side. They go onto like a, a rack as they as you pop the balls. So that's yeah. Yeah, they got uh yeah for the cheap cheap places, uh, cheap pool tables. Uh, they either all go to uh, the side, and then you put your quarters in, and then you 
and then it releases them when they roll out to the end. And you put the triangle on the table and oh that's as no. Uh, a, a real pool table has leather pockets. You have to go to each pocket with the balls are uh That's more like a snooker table to be fair, I would say. Nah. Uh, it's pool tables in general, but snooker, uh, yeah, it, they could do the same thing though with a snooker table or any table to make them all come to the end, uh, you know, because like, like the stuff, like the ones you buy for home, they all travel down to the one end of the table. The ones, uh, you gotta put quarters in. Uh, they have that plexiglass, and yeah, we have the same crap here. Put however many quarters in, or I'm sure probably at this point, you, you just swipe your card instead of that, and then it releases the balls. They all get in, just holds them in jail until you put your money in, and then it goes to the end like it does every other table. But they certainly, it's certainly impossible. For them to come out <laughs> i mean even if you had even if you threw like extra balls and you know, it, they would not come out they would just back up into the little tunnels knock on the door and wait for us to open Dang, I'm not far from another stream takeover. <laughs> I suppose I kind of get the, uh, kind of get the clock thing now, like going up to 16, because if it's, um, I suppose if it's something that um, the robots have made, they probably don't fully understand the concept of time. There's so there's no, there's no sun. They're inside of oh, a. Oh, yeah. They're... Okay. Because you you were outside, and then you you got trapped inside. And inside the walls, from the first area was the walls. Yeah, that's keeping things divided. But you'll learn more about that as you okay uh, conversations and stuff like that. There's piano. I wonder if one of these guys plays music. Yeah, that's like every every single thing you could do like that. Like every single thing you can do in this game. I did it over and over. And there's one achievement I didn't get, and I don't know how I didn't get it. I mean, I, there's multiple achievements I didn't get, but there's one in particular that I don't know how I didn't get it. I must have just been, yeah, I don't know. Talk about that stuff at the end kind of thing. Okay, so there's um, quite a few memories to be had in this area. Yeah, I don't, I don't have all of them. Got a lot there, but. Uh, definitely still missing because you you gotta hunt for them. Some are some are just there in your face as a a gimme, and then there's some you gotta you gotta hunt for. Oh, this one. <laughs> That's interesting, actually, to think about. You know, robots don't need the plants, but 
They're still taking care of the environment. Yeah. Okay, that's uh Yeah, no, nah, Mika, you can't. You can only be a cat and walk across the keys. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I thought there was an achievement by doing, like, walking around on keyboards doing cat-like meme stuff. And Again, though, this could have been, like, almost a bit like that game we were talking about last night. This, this could have been, like, one of those absolute mean games like um, Goat Simulator or oh, um, yeah. Untitled Goose Game, where it could have <laughs> just been a complete not a meme. But, um... Nah, the... It's completely original. Um, throwing in the, the actual, like, cat behaviors and... Stuff like that that you can do yourself and... Uh, you know, you can meow a lot. Stuff like that. Yeah, all that, all that stuff, that, that the techno, uh, technology stuff is cheap. Now, I'm gonna assume. <laughs> uh oh, you're assuming that um, if I come across any of these energy drink cans, then they're gonna get a prompt to. Uh, Pick it up, right? I mean, confirm or deny, it doesn't matter. I don't mind if you don't want to say anything, but... Uh, uh, honestly... There's no point in me saying anything. Okay. Like in my playthrough, but that, I mean, I, I learned everything I think I wanted to know. I mean, I didn't need to Google anything after. And... Grandma clothing. Did 478 miles of scarves. If you some electric cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Okay, so we need to get the electric cable from the market. I find it quite. Uh, again, it's just me, like me being me. Um, you find it quite interesting as to like how they would have got like all their personalities and things if they were just like because I can only assume they were like robots made by the humans just for general kind of tasks to help make the humans lives easier so for uh, them all to have kind of like their own personalities and stuff is, is quite weird uh like refer back to what I said before uh, it's all explained uh, it'll be answered so far every question you've asked like Mika asked about what would it they're not answered so far I haven't heard a question that won't be answered you, you're not a kitty you. hey Look at that. Look at there. That's an energy drink. Look at that. Oh, I wonder what they can be used for. Rip and humans. A, and a memory. Yeah. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? 
No silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Hmm. Oh. Uh. What? Excuse me, sir. Yeah, it was one area had a, a bug in the game. And it was like part of the hoodie and like uh, maybe the gloves or something, but it, it, it just stayed there at a different area. And you can walk through it and everything. It was, yeah, I don't know. Some weird bug. I like the vibe that the uh, soundtrack gives. Yeah, I actually love the soundtrack. Like, for, you know, gameplay. Not, not that I would burn a CD and listen to it in my car. Circles are like pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Maybe I'd like to see my postcard. My mother told me to get it there one day. <laughs> <laughs> 